slight error occurred while recording, but not. don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. It sounds like a big deal. Hi, I'm Hi. Steve. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Steve. You're Did, Danny. I am. It's me. This is the O-Penis. <laughs> yeah. well, surely that can't mean anything else than uh, just O-Penis, overpoweredness, right? Well, I mean, why don't you kind of introduce yourself and give a little bit of reason of why it's called the O-Penis? Uh, well, <laughs> my name is uh, Danny, but I'm also... Angus, uh, but I'm also Orion. <laughs> uh, That's true. You wear many names. Yeah, so pretty much uh, that's where my battle tags or gamer tags or whatever tag or name or whatever you call them come from is those are my code names. <laughs> Base it, it so creates problems at work. O Ryan, the O portion of the O penis, correct? Correct. Codename Orion would be uh, most of mine. Although, if we're going to be playing Apex today, <laughs> it's not going to it's not going to look like that. It's going to be more like the A penis, which yeah, is fine <laughs> because we'll get to why that's fine in a second. But then, I mean, we can you be can, A penis. Yeah, A penis, O penis, D penis. Probably we could do that too, but I'm not really I mean, into that. We could definitely be D penis. You're Man. not into that. All my names work really well with this penis. <laughs> it really does. The only thing is I can never change my name. Yeah, you're going to have to figure out some other number. So why don't you describe why why you're the P in penis, Stephen? Well, <laughs> I, I, well, the OS doesn't work because OS has never worked, so we'd have to restart that. Yeah, and if you added another uh, S to that. Yeah, hmm. Pac-Man. That's my gamer tag. Oh. Which is typically and almost always the case, except for in Twitch, for whatever reason, when I started using Super MLG Gaming Guy. So, it also <laughs> doesn't always work. You know what? This is just kind of fucked. We're just going to have to... We'll this just is, go with it. Okay. We're, this is going to be so good. So, uh, well, what are we doing? Because we this is kind of our uh, intro to this each other. Our, initiation right yeah, yeah yeah initiation we've already gone through paddling each other on the ass and lubing up a broomstick and all the other cool things you do for initiation um which those things are normal right i mean you, they're very enjoyable you told me those are normal so i went with it yeah absolutely okay well good well at some point we're going to figure out whether or not this is is this going to live on youtube or twitch or podcast village podcast land or you know wherever podcasts are sold or <laughs> distributed or whatever you well, do I mean, with maybe, free podcasts maybe it can live on in all variations i like that it, you know, there's one problem that you may or may not have pointed out if you uh, have been suckered into listening to this. Uh, if this is podcast land and we're playing games, there's a huge visual element of the playing of the game that you lose in an audio podcast. I agree. That's true. So that how, do we, true. Uh, how do we rectify this? Well, I don't know. Um... Because I was kind of thinking this, too. So, here's, I guess, a question for you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What were you hoping to get out of this? What did you want to uh, kind of be the objective? Why did you personally want to join in and start a podcast? Uh, you told me there was penis involved, and I was like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great. I'm in. So I mean, uh, if, as long as we put lots of penis in it, uh, yeah, good. I, I, then I'm totally, then I'm totally good. It's uh, it's all about the toilet humor for me. Um, although I do have, uh, oh, ooh, hey, hey, there we go. Now I'm not clipping on my audio. That's that's fun. Hey, whoa, playing with audio levels. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, it's always a great thing to do mid podcast. That's what all of the experts do. Is just. Stick around with their audio levels and 
Yeah, I totally. I googled best practices podcast, <laughs> and what I came up with was play video games uh, in the background because people love <laughs> listening to video games, and then play with audio levels. So we've hit two of the top ten things. We'll get to the rest of the eight here <laughs> shortly. Never you fear. Well, here's here's the idea. How about this? Okay, okay carry on. We don't play video games when we do the podcast. Okay. We just do the podcast unless people say that they want it, which right now the only people who are going to be listening to this is probably me and you. Yeah. So, and, um uh, that makes sense. We're we're avid listeners of ourselves. <laughs> avid. I listen to myself all over every day. I listen to you almost all the time when we're playing video games as well. Well, that let's see. There we so go. So we're already listening to each other oh. and talking. And I, I, I might need some alone time before this. Uh, <laughs> you might need some alone excited. time after. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, okay. All right. I, mean, I like we could it. Do that. Yeah. Okay. So here's another thought uh-huh. because we have, you know, we have uh, what you like to call the least thought out, but slightly <laughs> thought out agenda for the day. So, you know, we can go over that, but also this is clearly. Oh, penis planning. Um, you know, planned oh, penis. In that there is no planning, and you just go for it for 15 seconds, and then, bam, it's an explosion of mess, right? Exactly. And then you go to the, you know, the store, and duck your head in, and, you know, just buy the, buy the pill and swallow it, <laughs> a.k.a. download this podcast. Or YouTube video. You know, what? you don't have to download it. You can just stream it. Yeah, just stream it. Yeah, do whatever you want, really. Yeah. As I, long as you hit subscribe and buy mad merch, bro. <laughs> ring that ring that bell. Ring ding, that bell. Ding a ling a ling. Give those angels yeah, their wings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> man, we're already good at this. this is, yeah, man, we're, we're rocking it, dude. And uh, on the bright side, if we put it in YouTube, then I can comment about how not good we are about it and be first. <laughs> Oh yeah, and you get you can make sure that you leave the comment first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you got to leave that comment first. I love, I love YouTube. Uh, well, okay. So, what I was getting at, and then got distracted, though, which is not going to happen ever again. I swear. No, never. We'll never be distracted. Uh, the, what I was getting at was what we could do. There's this new game out. Uh, and this could be said at any time, so this is still relevant unless games become legal. So, but there's a new game out called The Division Two, mm-hmm. and the beta is open today and tomorrow. I've only I've only just heard of this game. Yeah. So, but here's the thing: uh-huh. there's there's always gonna be more games out. That's right. True. Yeah. It's, wow. So maybe what we could do is do what everybody else does and play mm-hmm. the new games when they come out. Or, hear me out. Okay, I'm here. We could play the old games that have been out forever. Uh, you could call them classics and play those and, you know, do like a little playthrough, uh, uh, you know, play through, talk through. Talk through playthrough, one Talk or through both. Ah, uh, I like I like that. Yeah, um, which one? Because I said two things. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Here, Perfect. here, here. This is this is my vision, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that we have a lot of fun just hanging out and playing games. Me too. And I think that people like to kind of experience that. And uh, especially when you're sitting at your shitty job and you're like, oh, God, this sucks so bad. If I got to process one more ticket or take one more phone call, I'm going to fucking freak out and go fucking postal on this whole goddamn place. You can listen to something and be like, oh, man, I'm just hanging out with these guys. And that's pretty fun. And that's pretty neat. And... So then I think that the that kind of most fun happens like that when we're just dicking around playing games. So playthrough or playing through the newest game, 
Either way, I'm fine with it. You bring up a good point. The visual element is missing in podcast form. But how much how much visual element do you really need to just sit back and enjoy good conversation with people who are hanging out, you know? Yeah, no, that's uh I like it. I like it a lot. Plus, you know, I don't know this is this is me confirming what we clearly talked about beforehand and and not just coming up with it on the fly but we <laughs> for games that are like co-op games like the yeah. division 2 which we may or may not like you'll have to find out stay tuned uh, ring that bell so you get notified <laughs> uh, yes definitely do all that uh, we could also have guests on the podcast so that we could get a third listener from time to time. <laughs> I, I like the strategy of obtaining listeners through integrating them to the podcast. That's oh, great. Nobody's Eventually ever thought we'll about this. Eventually we'll just have 1.5 million guests on and uh, we, we won't even have to talk. I like it. I like it a lot. It'll make <laughs> games a little crazy, especially games that have a 100 person cap on them. But, uh, you know, we'll get there. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> we'll just have to be playing World of Warcraft and everybody joins the same server. We'll crash the thing and move to a new server. Perfect. You know what? That'll make for an excellent podcast because uh, I don't know how to play World of Warcraft. And uh, <laughs> I, think, I think everybody who plays World of Warcraft would love to watch somebody who fucking sucks at it play World of Warcraft. Also, came up on another point I just wanted to touch on. Uh-huh. How, do, how does the OPness feel about cursing? I mean, the uh, well, I mean, based on the fact that I've... Uh kind of just let loose i think that we're probably in the clear unless we uh want to cut everything out and start over uh no cursing but mm, uh, yeah oh i mean the like clearly i'm i've put out all of my names at this point i may as well put out my social security number uh oh, wait what is that again <laughs> <laughs> you didn't take it down the first time it was in the first it was in the first five minutes of the podcast go back and listen to that part Okay. Yeah, I'll just yeah. rewind. Okay, perfect. Yeah, there's uh, there's an algorithm that says re-listening to it boosts the hell out of whatever. So I've just boosted our algo by one because you're gonna re-listen. Okay. Okay. So uh, how do I boost it? Um. Well, uh, by swearing, I think. Okay. Well, then just shitty fuck. Okay. Perfect. All right. I'm I think I think that we're fine with it. Yeah. I think we're fine with it. I'm. I certainly am, and I would have a hard time holding back. So, you know, we. Yeah, can... I don't. I don't think that the O penis is overly sensitive, um, in that area. Yeah, I. I would agree. Maybe like maybe we don't go uh, batshit crazy. Maybe just you know regular cat shit crazy, and yeah, we put yeah, a little I mean, litter you know, on it and clean it up after ourselves. You don't want to stimulate the O penis with too much, but. You know, too little is just not a fun time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> it'll be a, it'll right, be a blue episode. <laughs> 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 we can color blue. code. We can color code the episode based on uh, based on how much swearing there is, and or uh, if you're gonna walk away with a tummy ache afterwards. Okay, so in terms of this, are we playing games? today or do you not want to play games today i think this is a good like setup and then and then we can play a game play some games and by good setup i mean like we we're not doing a good job but like this is definitely (laughs) setting it up Yo, it's setting it up for the good job we're going to do in the future Yeah, yeah 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 okay i see um, you know, one other uh, one other game that we have that we kind of started playing and never really finished that might be fun uh, mm-hmm, would mm-hmm. be Orcs Must Die Two. Oh, that yeah, see, I like that game. I mean, we could there's there's a dozen games that I would love to play through first or second or you know tenth times, and uh, you know doing that and talking through it, I think would be a lot of fun for me. If it's a lot of fun for you, then I'm down. Because really, All right. 
I'm we're doing this for each other. Uh, that's true. It's really kind of a, uh, a circle jerk of each other. Exactly. That's, I'm. That's I'm, really it. I'm preparing you to take more enjoyment from pleasuring other people, and that other people is me. <laughs> okay. Well, and um, the same, the same thing. Really. Perfect. Yeah. It's <laughs> with your with your tongue and your vocal box. That's so we kind of we kind of had some ideas of things that we wanted to talk about. Ah, uh, yes, uh, indubitably. But uh, is there anything anyone should know about you, Danny? Um, well, I mean, how since many you... kids are trapped in your basement or whatever. I mean, trapped is not really <laughs> fair. <laughs> you know, okay. Nobody's trapped once they're dead. <laughs> Okay, that one's getting edited out. <laughs> <laughs> yep, here's the edit. Badoom. I mean, slice. <laughs> you know, insert edit sound here. Uh, no, that is, that's an edit sound. Yeah, that sounds like the ones. Um, you know, like, you've got my names. Uh, you've got uh, my social security number. Once again, go back, check the first five minutes. Uh, I here's Here's my dilemma that I'm mm-hmm. going to make public. If I tell you I work in video production and then and then I don't put much effort into producing one of these videos that goes out on YouTube, you'll be like, really, this guy? See, and yeah. that's actually something that I wanted you to say because now you're on the hook. Now the whole internet knows. So cool. when your video is shitty, that's that's not good for you or your career. So well. now it's out that's it's it's out i mean it's that is what it is so i think what we've established here and i want to thank you for bringing that up is that you'll be the one editing these videos (laughs) wait 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 a second (laughs) so Uh, i thank you for that time that you've taken off my hands i'm really i couldn't i couldn't be happier about what just happened (laughs) um i'll be happy to help you though i'm a pretty good teacher mediocre at best actually but uh <laughs> but i'm here for you in fact we can do a podcast about editing video because nothing could be more entertaining <laughs> to the ears than hearing than somebody not watching cut somebody video. <laughs> video yeah yeah i think we've hit all the bases we're good at this um yeah i think I think that's pretty I mean, much really it. I mean, really, it would be watching somebody edit the video for the podcast that you've heard the week before. Something to that effect? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, clearly uh, clearly, we're going to let down my subscriber and your subscriber, or ourselves, <laughs> uh, if we don't put out timely content. So That's true. If, if I know that you were playing this game on the previous podcast maybe i'd be oh disconnected player oh boy (laughs) inactivity all right well if you're uh, listening to this i just got disconnected for inactivity because we're not playing so (laughs) that so we like that but you had to play video games yeah yeah i love i love to play video games you know i'm not amazing or anything but i like to play uh i have i mean we're not even we're not even good no but i have one more victory (laughs) in apex than you do that's true because I total one, and you total. Uh, that would be two. So together, we still don't even get the badge for five <laughs> victories in Apex Legends, which is, in my opinion, like, a lot of fun. Um, and I believe is the first uh, victory badge after number one, right? Uh, so we have a total of one victory badge, which is just what you get for winning a game. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Well. Yeah. Well, so we've been so, playing a lot. So we're of really that. bad at video games. Well, yeah. At least this one and the other ones that we play. Uh, but that's just so far. You know, you never know. Things could change uh, once this becomes my full time job. Because I don't actually have a full time job. I have <laughs> I have like six part time jobs. So. And, I do have a full time job, mm, but yeah. um, you're not a very yeah, good millennial. That, you got that be... whole. Yeah, that's true. I'm not a good millennial, but that whole situation about you know, oh, if I got to process Walmart ticket, I'm gonna go postal. That is my life. So, um, <laughs> so you really didn't have to draw 
from no, some other experience. Yeah, it really wasn't too far fetched. Just no. didn't have to dig deep at all for that one. Okay, all right. Luckily, I am better at my uh, regular job than I am at playing video games. But like you said, I I plan to change that too. Oh yeah, and what is it that you do for a job? I don't edit video. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a pleasure thing. So, I'm, I'm glad that you'll just no. find it pure pleasure because it's not a job. I, I couldn't be I, more I, happy. I don't with edit it. video at all. Um, but yeah, you know. This, uh, this is great. Uh, Adobe uh, Creative Cloud just got a new subscriber. Uh, I will give you my my university logon. <laughs> okay, just kidding, Adobe. That was a joke. Jesus. <laughs> oh, man. Don't go. You're uh, getting us banned by Adobe. Oh, already. well, that's why you're going to have to edit the rest of these videos. <laughs> <laughs> man, I'm doing a good job. All right. I just I just put a lot on your shoulders and took a lot off my plate. I'm super stoked about how this is turning out. So this is kind of funny, right, that uh, I work in finance and you used to work at finance and we both worked at the same company, but did not meet through work, right? No, nope. Never, uh, never met inside the halls of work. But do you remember the first time we kind of met, but didn't meet? See, and you say this, but I don't remember this at all. I have two witnesses, and one of them we'll definitely bring on to a later episode. Uh, we'll call him Spike because that's Spike his name, <laughs> El Spike Man. Uh, but yes, he will he will attest to this. And then we have another witness that used to be one of my uh, go-to gaming amigos. Uh, there's probably a name for that, um, Game Egos. But that's who's the different. other guy, Daryl. I don't think you met Daryl. Um, well, in, then how can he be a witness? Hold on now. In Gamingville. But he'll attest to this. We'll bring him on. We'll bring him on. Uh, we'll bring Carol yeah, on yeah, yeah. Just, just if not to confirm this. But I met you at a rock climbing gym when we were climbing with those two, the previous mention, Spike Man and Daryl. And we saw you by yourself. And we're like, hey, that guy's by himself. And they're like, should we go belay for him? If you don't know what belaying is, I mean google it it's a rock climbing thing but it's basically helping the other guy rock climb because someone's got to hold and the rope up. yeah <laughs> yeah yeah so we're like oh we should uh should we blame for him and we're like nah we're dicks he'll find somebody <laughs> plus he's here by himself so he's probably there to to you know pick up on a girl if possible not not as a primary but at least secondary <laughs> So uh, we wouldn't want to take that away from him and make it look like he's with the three of us because then it just looks like two couples. Instead and your of, hair definitely wasn't as long as it is now back then. So yeah, 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 yeah. Good yeah. Getting on you from behind. <laughs> you say that, but I think this is. I mean, I, I don't even think this is. A, my hair is the longest it's ever been. I, I I don't know how to put this in a nice way. There's probably like I could point. To where it is on my body but that doesn't help so i could say oh it's down to my belly button but what if i have a tiny torso and you're like well, well that doesn't tell me much either or if i have a super <laughs> torso you know you don't you don't really know so i think the only way to describe how long my hair is oh but this actually doesn't work either it's i'm just thinking it through in millimeters well i was gonna say if i hold my hands out to my side like the guy, like the Vitruvian man, but then my hands could be short and I could have yeah. little tiny T-Rex arms. That very small hands. The small okay. hands. So you can either imagine, uh, you know, Michael Jordan yeah. size arms or tiny T-Rex arms, but if I hold them out to my side, I can get to like Vitruvian man levels and hold my hair. Not all the way straight, but like that top one where he's, he's kind of got the Y in YMCA, but it's a little bit lower of a Y. Can I ask you a question? Go on. Why Why don't you just use a standard unit of measurement to say exactly how long your hair is? Okay, my hair is long enough to donate to Locks of Love. I don't know how long it is. I just know it meets the requirements. So it's over 10 inches long. Over 10 inches. There yeah, go. but I don't there know how long, long that is. 
What, what? Why were we talking about long, your long hair? I don't know. You couldn't get your mind off it, and I decided to indulge you. So we didn't actually meet there. You guys just saw me, contemplated belaying for me, didn't say anything to me, and then were jerks. Yeah, multiple times, though. Multiple times you contemplated and then were just a jerk? Well, I mean, on multiple occasions, we saw you by yourself at the rock climbing gym. Hmm. And so, yeah, multiple occasions, we proved ourselves to be assholes. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. You know what's funny about it, though, is that I probably would have said no anyways, because... You're not into long hair? <laughs> That's no. fine. You don't have to be. That's fine. My, my wife isn't either, so... <laughs> yeah. So she loves it. <laughs> so is she opposite. Whatever the opposite of loves it is. So we didn't meet there. And we didn't meet at work. And then we met through one of our buddies that also worked at the same finance company that we both do. After I had stopped working there and before you had stopped working there, right? Indeed. Indeed. Maybe we'll have him on as well at some point. Oh, uh, man. That guy is super interesting to conversate with. Yeah, agreed. But he hates Apex, <laughs> so it definitely won't be playing this game because... Ooh, and, and I say this game, it's that, because... Uh, that's the music that's on in the background because I haven't separated the audio channels out because, you know, planning... It's and he's something. also not that interesting to converse with. <laughs> oh, slam. <laughs> slam. He knows it. Bam. He knows it. He oh. says the same thing. Oh, man. I, I, think, I think we will find otherwise. We'll just have so to we wait both, and see. We both like video games. We established we both like rock climbing. We've, we've done that together before since uh, not having Ubele for me at the climbing gym. True, true. Uh, like sports, yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I work for uh, multiple sports teams. That's who I do my editing for. And, and uh, I just watch a lot. Yeah. And by nature of my job, I watch a lot as well. So, yeah, it's fun stuff. Plus, I like to pretend I'm a nerd and go to code conferences like I did this morning. And, uh, you know, then I just get to nerd around a little bit without actually being a nerd or getting paid like one. So I get the worst of all worlds, except the free coffee. So I know your favorite uh, your favorite college team, because it's my favorite college team. Mm -hmm. Are we going to say that name out loud or let people guess? I mean, I think that we could tell them that it's the University of Utah. Uh-huh, indeed. That, that's where we're from, even yeah. though neither of us live there anymore. Nope, but it's the real you. It is the real you. Mm -hmm. No matter what your stupid city tries to claim. <laughs> I mean, it's the only, not the only, but uh, it's the you that it's has the a real. you in the name of the you. The other <laughs> you has the you that every other you shares, which is university. So how, I mean... Womp womp on that, I guess. This is a question I've had for you. And mm -hmm. uh, what about esports? Yeah. Uh, so, do you have one... a favorite esports team? I don't and have a favorite. Can you even claim that esports are sports? Yeah, I, to I mean, totally can claim it. Because um, <laughs> I've. I mean, that was easy. See, I just did it. Like, boom, <laughs> claimed. Like that's pretty claimed. much how that's how uh, America yes, was it founded. It just doesn't make it true, right? Landed, claimed, bam. I mean, I guess part of America was purchased, which is different than claiming because it involved millions of dollars. But uh, on the subject of millions of dollars, esports, and there's a lot of money in esports. Which makes me think it's true, which is why it was so easy to claim. Esports is true. There you go. That's that's what I came up with. No, but, but you don't have you don't have a team. No, I don't have a team. Um, I, I don't watch tons. The Florida Mayhem. Uh, I got to meet those guys and uh, put together a little piece for them. That was cool. Uh, I'm I live in Florida, uh, so that was also easier because they are the Florida Mayhem. Uh, they're an Overwatch team. And uh, yeah, they're really they're pretty cool guys, man. Uh, but we also have Heat Check Gaming down here, so we mm -hmm. have, there's a lot of proximity to esports where I live. 
uh, down in Florida. I don't know about where you live in in the middle of the desert where it's hot and there's nothing to do but use in good all old the Arizona. power. Yeah, all the power to cool your systems. Um, so yeah, I don't have one, but I I'm interested. And the university, one of the universities I work for, just started uh, their search for esports coaches players scholarships all that kind of stuff uh, like literally last week so you know uh, the the u actually has uh um a team and scholarships for it too and they're already up and running yeah all right well what about you do you have is is the u's esports team your favorite team (laughs) so uh, could you say that with a little more disdain or i mean it's not that i dislike them i just don't really care about you know here's the thing all the great esport players what do they do not go to college they stream and they play competitively and usually that starts at like 12 because they're all hopped up on mountain dew and their synapses are firing super fast and then somebody's like wow look at that skinny little kid he should come play for our esports team and not go to college and then they say oh well that sounds like a great idea i'll get to stay in the house and i'll get to play on my computer and i'll get all the mountain dew i want and then that's what they go and do and so uh no it's not a college team because quite frankly i don't think the best players are going through the college route uh that being said uh i do have a favorite esports team which is cloud nine baby <laughs> and why why is cloud nine your favorite I don't know. I started watching uh, League Championship Series when I was super into League of Legends. And uh, I liked their colors, and I liked their uh, uh, team leader at the time. His name was Hi, and he was super good. At least I thought he was super good. And uh, then I liked them. So that's it. That's really it. But this kind of plays into my theory I have. So you know how you can have somebody sit down and watch a basketball game with you and inevitably they just end up choosing a team that they want to win, right? Yeah. Um, Whether it's they just say, oh, I like the color of their uniforms or I like the look of some guy on this team or, oh, wow, he just scored, you know, a ton of points in the matter of a few seconds. And so now I like that team and I want them to win. So I have this theory that, uh, you know, basically any competitive event, somebody will sit down and watch, not knowing anything about it, and inevitably choose a side. And I think that happens even with esports. And I think that it happens because I invited my stepdad to sit down and watch a game. And he ended up choosing TSM while they were playing C9. So then he and I were at odds for that. But... I think that's just kind of how it happens. You sit down, you watch something, and inevitably you end up choosing a side. Could it be, though, that you influenced him in a way that you were so passionate about Cloud9 that he was like, um, no, this has to be countered. I cannot I cannot feed into this monster that is so passionate. I don't think so, because I didn't say anything about it. I just said... Hey, do you want to come watch? Uh, you want to come watch some uh, video games and tell me what you think? And and then he looked at your T-shirt with Cloud Nine on it and was like, <laughs> uh, "Sure, I was not wearing my C Nine T-shirt at the time." <laughs> do you want me to pour you some some tea in your Cloud Nine mug and uh, you know and get you a little bib for your Cloud Nine T-shirt so you don't get it dirty? And give you a nice jerk off pad <laughs> underneath your C Nine gaming chair. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, well, there's all of that, too. But. Okay, well, I, I figured it was something. There had to be something in there that tipped him off. But, so, uh, all right, all right, fair enough. In terms of more traditional sports, though, um, you had you had quite the week, right, with uh, Dwayne Wade making that shot? Yeah, no, that was, that was a lot of fun. Uh, Dwayne Wade's in his last season. Was that last week or that was that this week? No, it was just, uh, that was this last week. So yes to both of you. Were you at that game? Yeah, well, I was in the studio though, so I wasn't out on the floor. So we uh-huh. were we were watching from the studio, going crazy, 
when uh, against the defending champions, Golden State Warriors, and uh, the 10th seeded Miami Heat. But, the ten seeded, <laughs> but that was like that. You know, I don't know a, if you should claim that you're in the <laughs> Eastern Conference, dude. Yeah, but it's really tenth seeded with, but they're only a half game back, or at least they were. So uh, it was almost eight seeded, you could call it. Uh, but I decided not to. I call them ten seeded. Okay, <laughs> it's been a Great. less than stellar season. But there are a few bright moments, and that was one of them. And uh, and there was much celebration, and uh, I think it was definitely cause for it. It was a lot of fun. D Wade is is a stand up guy, and watching him do something fun and well, yes, like he that can was... stand up. You are correct <laughs> in that. <laughs> yeah. Occasionally, he does sit I've down, but most of the time, <laughs> sometimes he goes sliding across the floor on his belly. Most of the time, he's standing up. <laughs> so, and then, yeah. Then I had a good week because the Jazz beat the Nuggets. And for some reason, you never seem to care about the Jazz, but uh, I do. Yeah, well, so I mean. They beat the Nuggets, and they're number one in the West, so. Are they really? Yeah. Well, they were. I'm not sure if they are still after losing, but they were at the time. Oh, man. Something. Which was pretty awesome. Something Even though I think it's here. overinflated and Golden State has just kind of been, you know, chilling, waiting for the playoffs, knowing it's coming. So, um, I yeah. think uh, I think what what's happened here, and uh, I'm gonna make a lot of I'm gonna make a lot of cringing sounds while I say it because I'm going back to the tenets of podcasting, and you're like, bro. Shut up! You already you already mentioned that shit. It's time to get over it. But I just want to bring up the fact that if there's a if there's a person out there that's not me or you, I don't know where we would find one. But if there mm-hmm. is one that's listening and they're like, "Yeah, I'm into esports or I'm into video games," they there's a likelihood they probably don't care about the jazz. Yeah, yeah. Or if there's a person out there that cares about the jazz or the heat, and they're like. Yeah, cool, awesome. <laughs> Why did it take me 38 fucking minutes to get here? <laughs> and we're like, I don't know, but here we are. So we've either, A, covered all our bases, or turned everybody off and repulsed them, which I'm okay with. Uh, I did not actually mean to get off on a tangent about that as I'm, much as I'm we not just saying it's a tangent. We haven't actually established what uh, what we're going to be doing in future episodes besides playing video games. So I think this is a good time to say, hey, we might also talk sports. We might also talk sports. That's true. Yeah. And also, sometimes if we're feeling frisky, like real frisky, we mm-hmm. might even enter bam, 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 the <laughs> danger zone. So here's the thing, too. Go on. You and I both have a tendency to lean um, a, a little more liberal in our thoughts, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, indeed. And so we may very well be uh, ostracizing probably half of the people that could be listening, you know, just given overall political climate, uh, half of the people who could be listening just based on our political views too. Mm -hmm. Yes, because the danger zone is politics slash religion. We could go there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's also in the danger zone. So that's something that I think, uh, you know, is important to set to is uh, if you don't like it, well, that's fine. Yeah, that's <laughs> totally fine. But I, we may I, venture into it from time to time, right? Yeah, I like to venture there. I, I like to explore into areas where I don't feel comfortable and some areas oh. where I do. And and sometimes it's even fun to troll and all the time, really. But uh <laughs> I, which I'm amazed that you actually wanted to uh, go to this place, given that uh, the State of the Union was, what, a couple weeks ago now? And your advice to our friends were, don't watch it, it's just going to make you sad, don't go there. 
Yeah, I uh, I stand by that advice. <laughs> uh, it's just a big show, and it's a big dog and pony show. I'm not really sure what dog and pony show means, but I imagine a dog and a pony, and it's stuff that you don't really want to see happening to a dog or a pony. And yeah. uh, that's kind of <laughs> kind of how I feel about the State of the Union. There's half the people are clapping, half the people are booing. And no matter what's happening, it it's still half. Whether it's one or the other, it's it's always that way. And, well, okay. I guess that's oh. that's fun oh, for okay. everybody. <laughs> whoop, whoop, dee, whoop. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. But, uh, you know, I think you should just stay informed. I'm, I'm all about being informed. And uh, I my suggestion was didn't end there. It wasn't not to watch. And then period, that's it done stop you know stay away it was get the transcript and read it and then that way you don't you're not totally sucked in to what they i say they the overarching they what oh, they yes, want you yes, to feel they, 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 the yeah. ominous they don't do what they want they <laughs> want you to feel this way but but the they is real so if you ever meet a they you know introduce yourself and and let them know you know what their tricks are. Yeah. So you read the transcript. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can't advocate actually, that. Actually, don't, don't do that. Don't. <laughs> yeah. Don't. Yeah. But I think you should stay informed. And from time to time, I'd love to enter the danger zone to inform and or explore. And I might not always be comfortable. Well, maybe, maybe it so will be. Who have, knows? Did you have a specific agenda in the danger zone for uh, this time, or no, no, no? Did I think you this just is... want to bring up the fact that you may enter people's danger zone? Yeah, I don't want to enter a danger zone unannounced. So I think we should always make sure we announce when we're entering the danger zone. But uh, do you, does it require consent? Uh, I think I think the consent <laughs> is tacit consent that if you are listening to the podcast and you haven't pushed the stop button, then you are consenting to enter the danger zone uh, with the O penis <laughs> or the D penis sometimes. <laughs> sometimes the danger zone is going to be a D penis. Sometimes it's just going to be a penis. But most of the time it'll be O penis. And in terms of... In terms of a little bit of background, too, right? So you and I both come from one of, if not the most conservative state in the entire country, right? Yeah, I'd say top five. And we were both longtime members of uh, the LDS Church. <laughs> yes, I like you, how you phrase you long went time on a, member. <laughs> it, you went uh, on a mission. Yeah, I did. I did indeed. Where'd you go? Uh, to the hellhole uh, <laughs> of the most beautiful landscape and weather you could ever imagine, Southern California, where it's 72 degrees all year round. It was really difficult, I promise. Yeah, it sounds, it sounds like you really, really sacrificed on that one. Yeah, well, you know, some people, some people uh, have to live in Santa Barbara. That's just how but it works. So we both grew up in Utah, conservative state. Both were part of a very conservative religion. Both have extremely conservative parents, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And yet somehow we've uh, decided to fly in the face of all of that, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Uh, oh, yeah. That's the danger zone, baby. That is the danger zone. But you do have guns. Well, yes. yeah, we're from Utah, so so so, I, so the answer is yes, of course. Yeah, which, guns, which makes which, yeah, which makes your answer yes, of course. <laughs> exactly, and uh, yeah, I don't know. So we can yeah. fly into the danger zone whenever you want. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I just want to bring up that we could. So I, I think I think we've done a good job uh, establishing where we're going to go. I think uh, I think we're. This is a good introductory, uh, you know, obviously some other pop culture stuff here and there, you know, it'll just be what it is until we kind of figure out what it is, because clearly we haven't figured out what it's going to be or what it is uh, or, what or it has is. been. So, well, yeah. uh, there, we know what it has been. 
It has been 40 odd minutes of a delightful conversation with you and uh, and you know it's sort of on my part I hope I've I hope I've delighted you and the P part of the O penis. Oh man, you uh, you delighted my O penis just so so hard. Yeah, I think you probably could have gone with some sort of O joke there, but uh, <laughs> oh, um, yeah, I hope I gave you the O you were looking for. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I am the O you're looking for, so I thank you oh. for being the P I'm looking for, and I think that's a pretty good sign off right there uh, for the first introductory, not really, not really episode, because it's kind of more like an intro episode, intropisode. Intrapisode, I like it. Yeah, yeah, it's the intrapisode. It's not. It doesn't count on the episode count. It's just the intrapisode. Episode zero. Yeah. Intrapisode zero. Yeah. Well, and uh, going back to you know me mentioning pretending to be a nerd. That's how that's how computer nerds count is from zero. So that's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna count this from zero. This will be zero. And uh, you know if you've tuned in here, thank you. And your check will be in the mail. Uh, because we are obviously paying for listeners. Of course. That's how all the big dogs do it. You got to pay everybody to listen until you get a million people listening. And then somehow people just start listening, I guess. I, I, that's how it's YouTube It's like my Instagram. Me. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's why I have four <laughs> posts. <laughs> uh, yeah. If you... Uh, <laughs> We'll figure out where this goes and then, uh, you know, probably add something on the front or back of where to download us or whatever. If you've already downloaded us, then you don't need that shit. So what am I talking about? You don't even need to know because you already exactly. know. You're in the know, bro or bra. You already know where to get this. And so we don't need to drop where to get this. But we will drop drop our merch, get our merch, ring the bell, subscribe, like, uh, all, of, all of that stuff. And we will pin you. Yeah. Give him an air horn and let's sign off. Oh, wait. I, you caught me off guard. I don't have my air horn. Oh, well, uh, you know, you'll have to dig it out of your oh, no, uh, drawer. Wow, that was just two of them. I feel like two, is, <laughs> two, two horns is probably about as good as we deserve. <laughs> so normally it's more than that. Ah, there you go. There we go. All there right. There you go. There you go. Okay, perfect. All right. Goodbye. Peace.